comes to marijuana, there are widespread stereotypes, more importantly, myths, unfactual things that we're here to debunk today with five myths explained. And we will provide actual positive and beneficial motivation factors to marijuana. Five myths explained. Number one, pot is addictive. According to a study from the 1990s, the number of cannabis users who become dependent is at 9%. This would still put marijuana dependency risk comfortably below alcohol's 14% and tobacco's 24%. It's clear that heavy cannabis use is far less damaging than heavy use of heroin, cocaine, methamphetamines, or alcohol. Number two, stone driving is as bad as drunk driving. Drunk driving kills 28 people a day in America. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, studies have not found similar results for driving while high. That's not to say that marijuana doesn't affect driving ability. Marijuana use is more than likely going to make people more cautious than usual. Therefore, it is an asset while driving. Number three, smoking pot is worse for your lungs than smoking cigarettes. There was another reason people like to rattle off when discussing the dangers of marijuana. Some argue that because weed is generally smoked without a filter, the lungs are not protected. One study concluded that occasional and cumulative marijuana use was not associated with adverse effects on pulmonary function. All but the heaviest pot smokers don't average more than a couple of joints or bowls a day, compared to a pack a day cigarette smoker. Cannabis smokers always seem to have heavy, healthier lungs than cigarette smokers. Number four, cannabis use leads to crime. This one is easily debunked, but the desire to demean marijuana has kept this idea longer than it deserves. Essentially, the association with cannabis and crime comes from the fact that cannabis itself is illegal. Not all arrests lead to prosecutions, and relatively few people prosecuted and convicted of simple possession end up in jail. Number five, marijuana leads to harder drugs. The gateway effect on marijuana seems to be a popular counterpoint to the notion that cannabis itself isn't so bad. The majority of people who use marijuana do not go on to use other harder substances. A recent study from the National Institute on Drug Use found that marijuana use had increased in recent years among adolescents, but heroin, cocaine, and meth use has all dropped. So that's five myths explained. So with that being said, it's incumbent upon the individual to do their own research in regards to themselves and decide whether marijuana is the substance of your choice.